Alright, for this next portion we're going to show you some maintenance on how to take care of your horn. A couple things you're going to want to remember is to never eat or drink right before you play the horn. If you do, make sure that you wash your mouth out and brush your teeth. If you can't brush your teeth, then at the very least, rinse your mouth out thoroughly several times with some water. Um, a good thing to take care of first is your mouthpiece. You're going to need a mouthpiece brush, which looks like this, and some water. Typically, we'd rinse it in some water, some lukewarm water. About every day wouldn't hurt, but at the very least, once a week, you go in through there and make sure you get real good in there, one way and the other way, and then rinse it out again to make sure you get out any of the calcium buildup or the junk from your mouth that comes out. A healthy mouthpiece will get you a long way. And now I'm going to show you how to take apart bits of the horn and maintain other things, parts of the horn. You're going to need uh, some tuning slide grease. You're going to need a cleaning brush, a snake brush, some premium rotary valve oil, and you might even need some regular valve oil. But the rotary valve oil is the kind you're generally going to want to use first. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our slides off. So before you take any slide off, you got to always remember to relieve the pressure. So if we're pulling our third valve slide, we want to push our slide valve down so it comes out smoothly so you don't hear any popping. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And remember, when you take your valves out, you got to put them in the right order. The easy way to remember is the long third one. The third valve is your longest slide, so it goes there. And the shortest one is your second valve slide. I'm going to pull out the second valve slide now by pushing down and pulling it out nice and easy. I'm putting down our cloth and push down our first valve. And then lastly, our tuning valve. Nice and easy. Try not to ding yours like I do. Next, you're going to want to clean out the insides of your valves and your casings. And usually you do that by dipping it inside of a tub. You can submerge the entire horn inside of a tub with some lukewarm water, meaning water that won't burn you, because if it'll burn you, it'll burn the horn as well. And you can get some water and clean it up and put it in our brush. Right now, I'm just going to dip some water and clean it up in there and get in between those valves. And I don't know if you can see on the video, but it's already coming out with some green, slimy stuff. So it'd be best to submerge it for a couple of minutes, maybe a half hour in some warm water, and let it loosen up all that grime and get in there so that you clean them out. Once you clean it off your brush, do that a couple of times, get in there, make sure you let it dry off so that you can get everything out of there and you have a really nice clean horn. The next part will be cleaning your actual tuning slides and your valve slides. This you can do, You what I like to do is I like to submerge them in water and leave them there for a little bit so that after so that it loosens up all the grime you can do this in all in one in a bathtub as well if you prefer so once they sit there you just leave them for a little bit now that they've been sitting for a while the grime should have loosened up and you take out some of your slides you can see some of the grossness coming out already and then you get your snake then you run it through there like so and get it nice and clean and then that will get most of your junk out and then rinse it out real good and once you're done rinsing it out you got to get a lint free cloth and it's important to have lint free cloth because if not look at all that grease and oil and dirtness that comes out from the inside of that inner slide you get lots of gunk in there and you're going to do that for all your slides. I'll show you one more. That way we can see exactly what's coming out of here. That fogginess. And get your snake and get it all up in there. Get as deep as you can. Be careful not to get it stuck because some of these snakes, they don't build them very well. So you get as far as you can without jamming it too hard because you don't want to get your snake stuck. And rinse it off again a couple of times just to make sure you get all that stuff out. Alright, and then we're going to wipe this one down too. Look at that. 
all that grime that comes off from the outer slide, you can imagine what's going on inside. We'll set that one aside. So you can see all the grime that came off the outside of our tuning slides and our valve slides. And then once you clean out all the grime from the inside, you'll have a much better operating horn. Now to take care of our valves, you want to get some rotor oil. The better the quality of rotor oil, the better. And get them in there. Flip it upside down so that you can get your valve oil. And I put a couple of drops in there in each hole. Now there's no such thing as over oiling I've heard, but there is such a thing as wasting oil. So you don't need to do too much, but make sure that you do enough as well. And then work it through there. Feels better already. Alright. And then you also want to take off your valve caps and right on top of each one of those little spinning rotors, you put a drop in there. Make sure that Everything's nice and clean. I like to clean them off because you never know what gets in there. It's not too bad. Put a little drop right in there because that's the moving part. After you put your drop in, work it in. And you're going to have some smooth rotors. And now that everything's been all cleaned up and wiped down and has dried up, you're going to do the next portion, which is you're greasing your slides. You're going to need your slide grease, and you're going to need just a little bit. Put some on the edge of your finger just enough so that it shines, and put some on the ends. I like to put it on the end because it ends up rolling all the way down anyways. So here's our tuning slide. We'll angle it up and put it right back in there, and it should move nice and easy, nice and smooth. It's been perfectly cleaned, and it's now sliding very easily so you don't have to force it. You're going to do that with all your other valve slides. Make sure you remember which one's your first and which one's your third. The first one is the shorter of the two looking ones. Remember to push your slide, your the valve down before you put it in to release the pressure so that it goes through the horn and you don't damage any part of it. Goes in nice and easy. All right, you're going to do the same thing with the other three slides and then you can put your horn completely back together and you're good to go. So now you've seen me clean the slides, you've seen me clean the insides of the valves, you, you could bathe the entire horn as well to get some more of that gunk out. showed you how to clean the slides and I showed you how to clean your mouthpiece. So now you have a fully functioning, well lubricated, well moving horn. You should want to do this at least once a week to make sure you have a good operating horn and you want to take at least once a year to get your horn professionally clean and have a chemical bath done to it. But make sure you leave that part to the professionals. I wouldn't advise trying to acid bathe your own horn. So I hope you guys enjoyed our maintenance. Thank you very much.